Hey friends, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. Turn off the sound. I'm gonna start getting messages. Um, it's gotten pretty active with people looking for Chloe. Lots and lots of messages, lots of pictures to go through. Um, it's a good thing. Thousands of people looking for her. <laughs> and especially when you offer an award, um, there are a reward, reward. Um, th there are more people. Um, they're motivated by money. So there's, there's tons of people looking. So I, I am getting messages all the time throughout the night that I can't even go through. So hello guys, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. I am happy to have you here. We're going to do this project. Do you remember this transfer? When I saw this, I'm like, that has to hang in my house somewhere. I don't know where, but I'm going to take down. I only have, I have a very small area of, of, um, wall space in my kitchen because of the way that we remodeled it it's all open and then cupboards and a window and there's a little teeny tiny area I want to hang this so this is going to go in my kitchen but I will have these kits available so um this one is a little different uh, there's a lot there's a lot of little teeny tiny words but I think they're important to have on there so I to do the dimension so I will have the whole thing available and I actually have the transfer already. I have, I think I have 10 of them. So I'll have those um, over in the VIP group. I didn't have a chance to do to do the, um, the link last night. I was working on a few other things and then before I knew it, it was just time for bed. So um, I've pre-painted so we don't have to do that. What I do wanna do guys is I wanna go over the transfers that are releasing today, I have a bunch of them down here on the floor. Um, instead of me just showing you on the screen, which is sometimes hard to see, I have the actual transfers right here. I might be missing one or two if I've already done the project, um, but you know about those. So I wanted to just go through those again with you because those are releasing today, okay? 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific time, 9 o'clock mountain time, 10 o'clock central, 11 o'clock eastern time, our spring launch will happen so at that point all of these things are available there was a couple of things that didn't make it like the the bow maker is not here for you guys and that great big round beaded um sign um is not here so there's a then there was one other thing that um yeah i think um oh yeah and then the there's like uh what is it like a there's one other thing besides that that's not available that I can think of, but I can't think of the name of it. <laughs> Anyways, there's a, there were a couple of things that weren't available because they just didn't make it here in time or they made it here and they might have not passed um, the inspection. For one reason or another, there's just a couple of things that aren't here, but I want to go through those um, stencils and we will we will talk about them. And you'll see me going back and forth between stencil or transfer. Um, they are a stencil with a silk screen in them. Chaka Tour has called them transfers all this time. A lot of times people call a transfer something that you um, go over with a, a popsicle stick and it transfers it to your piece of wood. So um, it's kind of an interchangeable word. All right, but we will come back and we'll do this. But first I want to share this to my VIP group. Then I'll see who's here and then we'll go through all those other um, transfers. So you can see again, refresh in your head, what do I want to grab? There's probably some that might sell out today. Honestly, I am thinking some of the bunny ones, um, the smaller ones are probably going to sell out. They, they won't do a restock. If there's something that you want, make sure you grab it today. Honestly, I have some inventory and I might grab a few more things, but I can't, I can't store inventory like I used to. One, I don't have enough space. Okay. Darling does run out of space. Two, I don't want to tie all my money up in that right now. Okay. So I'm working towards retirement. So, um, other goals this year, you know, there's a lot of other goals in my life. Um, besides just purchasing $20,000 in inventory each time. <laughs> yeah. So, so there's other goals. I mean, I still purchase a decent amount, but, um, that's, yeah, I can't do that every time anymore. So that's about what it would amount to each time is between 15 and $20,000 for me each, each launch. And that's a lot of money. So anyways, guys, if there's something that you want, grab it. I do have this whole kit. I'll have the wood. I'll have the, the stencil. Um, 
I won't have little packets of chalk paste for you because they didn't have cherry and, and that color and they didn't have saffron. You're going to use whatever color you have. Oh, I need green too because there's grass. So I'll have to pull pesto or something else out. Let me see who's here. Um, let's, let's see who's here, guys. And let me share this to VIP. And, um, and let me just answer all of the questions that you might have. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I am just, I haven't even found myself on here yet. And I have my shirt on. Okay, so so it did have a teeny tiny stain, but you can't see it because it's right at the crease of my my elbow. <laughs> I I got that little ink stain where I dropped I dropped the thing in the ink. Can you believe that? It was a Monday. I, I continue to have a couple things like that happen. It was a it was a typical Monday yesterday, for sure. So I think a lot of people had a Monday-ish Monday yesterday. Um, honestly, it was it was one of the Mondayest Mondays I've had in a very long time. <laughs> but that's okay because you know what? We would rather have our days be like that than, than not have sure. them at all, right? Exactly. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. How are you? Good morning. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Bridget. Um, Bridget, your order will go out again today. We have filed a claim. No idea what's going on with it. It's really sad, but, um, we will get the money back for, for the first one and your second order will be going out. Sometimes things happen like that. We, we know we ship about a hundred packages a day between the, the chocolate tour business, the craft cutout business and our wedding business, and then we have some other stuff on the side too. Between those four companies, um, we ship out about 100 packages every single day. We know that there's a small percentage that is gonna go wrong, and I hate it when it ever happens, but we know, we just file a claim, and then we just move on, because there's always gonna be air ratio in any type of business, whether it's they failed it, the package, opened up um, on, you know, anything can happen. The package could open up and things could be everywhere. And they don't put things back inside packages. When something opens up, you might get an empty box. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's incredible what can happen. So I'm not even going to guess um, it was insured. So that's a good thing. Insurance is a great thing to have on packages. So yeah, we're covered. All right. Thank you. I love the shirt too. It's going to be fun to wear today. Hi, Kim, Kimber. How are you? Good morning. Hi, Julie. Hi, Lori. Hi, Mary Lee. Good morning, Sarah, my friend. Hi, Deb, my sister. Hi, Tammy. How are you? Hi, Karen West. Um, the color of month was still available as of yesterday because I placed a small order yesterday that I needed um, some tools. So it was available yesterday. And that was like late afternoon. So it was it was available then. So I anticipate that color of the month will probably sell out by the end of today. That's my guess. Because a lot of people were like, I'm not going to get it yet. I'm going to wait until launch. And I don't blame them one bit. <laughs> because if you have a limited amount of funds, you're not going to purchase on the first of the month and then purchase again on the sixth. Okay? You're going to wait and risk it, you know? Um, I honestly, I placed two orders, so I don't have extras for anyone. I have, um, I had extra for one person that I already did and then the rest is mine. Um, so I don't even have extras. I'll get some today when I do my launch order, I'll get a couple more, um, just in case I need them. <laughs> but, but you know, a lot of times I'll place multiple orders to get extra. I'm not doing that anymore. I just, I just can't. So, um, hi Tanya. Hi Stephanie. Thank you, Deb. Hi, Denise. You're welcome, Bridget. It's life. Oh, Cheryl, I was I was tore apart about that. I saw that right before I went to bed last night, and because I got to bed super late. Toby Keith was an amazing man for sure. So, um, yeah, definitely thinking about his family today. So, hi, Janelle. Um, yeah, you had to wait till lunch. Absolutely, totally understand that. Totally, under I know Sarah is just so 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 sad. So so sad. Um, Stephanie ordered on the first and got some that will order. Yes, exactly. No, I totally understand. Okay, let's look at these stencils again, and let's. Oops, that's not what I want to do. I want to do this. Okay, so this is our project that we're gonna do in a moment. I'm just gonna turn it around so we're ready to go. So I have everything already base coated because I knew I wanted to go through all the other ones with you. We are going to do some dry brush on there, but everything is cut out. This is actually the digital file from um, Chocolate Tour. I tweaked it a little bit because I like to make a few changes. So um, this cow is different from the cow that they sell. 
So the cow that they sell does not have the grass on it. So this cow is different from the ones that Chocotour sells. Therefore, Darlene can sell this one. It's different, okay? So I can sell this whole set. So if you just need these pieces, I will have them separate. If you need the whole backer thing too, I'll have that. So um, that's the way you get around those things. It's different from what they sell. Okay, let me bring these up and show you all of this. I have them on the floor here. So let me just grab this size A and B and some of the great, oh, the great big one. Okay, so great big one's behind me. Let me just put these all up here. We'll just go through them and I'll put them back on the floor. <laughs> so close. So, so Marley, I keep saying Chloe. So Marley, Marley got playing a little bit more yesterday. We're warming up to the puppies. Uh, they're just kind of overwhelming. <laughs> if you had two puppies coming at you, grabbing your tail, you might be a little bit overwhelmed. Hi, Deborah. How are you? Hi, Sylvia. Okay, let me just show you this one. And I'm going to put it back down on the ground. It's actually getting bent up. <laughs> I need to do this one. So this, this is the great big one that we're going to do that the same as the other one. So this is a size E. Okay, I'm going to just put that behind me again. We'll probably do that in a couple of days. Okay, so here's size A. Let me just go in a little bit. We're just going to go through them so you'll kind of know what you want. All right. Um, stay wild. You don't have to put the little wildflowers, but it's really super cute. Hop. Thanks for hopping by. I have a project coming up real soon with this one with the little bunny ears. So it's going to be super cute. And then carrots. Carrot farm. Um, you are freaking awesome. <laughs> Pray big. And then here's some wildflowers. What's this one called? Um, groovy florals. Okay, every day is a gift. Roll with it. And it has like bicycle and um, skates and rollerblades. And then we did this one the other day, Spring Cottontail Market. I'm just gonna go through them pretty quickly. Sorry guys, let me know if you need me to stop and go slower. Hi, Chris. How are you? Hi, Sandy. Um, life isn't perfect, but my cat or dog is. <laughs> For sure. Make stuff. Um, screw you. That's going to go in the trash probably for me. <laughs> Sorry. I Unless somebody really wants that because I am i don't do offensive stuff. Sorry. I just don't. It's not me. Um, he, this is more me. <laughs> he is risen. I will definitely do... I will definitely do something like that. But, I mean, you know, maybe somebody really likes the screw you thing. But it's not my style. Um, <laughs> I just, it's just not me. I like this. I'm stronger than the 90s trend. That's kind of cute with the with the cassette. <laughs> hi, Laura. How are you? Hi, Karen Ross. Hi, hi Donnie and Virginia, whichever one's watching. <laughs> Good morning. We're just showing, these, these are stencils that are coming today. Okay, let me just go out a little bit further. So this launch is happening this morning. Um, on my website, let me just let me just plug my website right there for those of you that might not have it. These are coming available today on my Chocotour website. And uh, let's see here. I'm just going to put it right here for you. And then I'll also be posting on my page. So at 8 o'clock Pacific time, 9 o'clock mountain. Um, cute little thing. And it goes on the little art that they have. Uh, I love the chickens. I couldn't decide between the cow and the chickens today. So we'll be doing the chickens later this week. They're really cool. I have something really cute planned for them. Um, so anyway, so okay, so 8 o'clock Pacific, 9 o'clock Mountain, um, 10 o'clock Central, 11 o'clock Eastern Time. So you'll be able to purchase any of these, okay? And the also surfaces, so there's all the dropping frames, more issues in Vogue. <laughs> so the cow one would look really cute on the size, size C um, type. Uh, board, uh, drop in frame. Leave your troubles at the door. That's kind of cool. I like that. And then Easter eggs. We're going to do something with this definitely soon. I love the little bunny. Not a fan of the pencil. Yeah. I, you know, I just can't do stuff like that. It's not me. Not at all. <laughs> it's like, I don't mind just throwing it away. I had to buy, I did the buy one of everything. And you know what? It's okay if there's something I can't use. I, I refuse to, to do that. Um, trust God and chill. I love that. I need a t-shirt with that on it. <laughs> this time I won't get any ink on it. And I, I love the bees. Okay, so we'll do something with the bees. We definitely have some projects. I actually still have the little hex, is it like that hexagon type um, things from before that we can probably use on there. Um, here's some flowers. 
And then this is cool. I love this. This is kind of cute. I think they made a little, um, uh, with the, I think they made a game out of this somehow. Okay, so those are size B. So you have size A, they're $11. Size B, they're $16. Okay, these are size C. Okay, so these are, let me go out further so you can see everything. <laughs> Not a good something. Um, yeah, exactly. I'm, for crafting. That's that's my opinion, too. I, I know they have to have a variety to appeal to everybody. So I'm okay with that. I, it just doesn't appeal to me. And, and we have our choice whether we use it or not. So I just choose not to. <laughs> Hi, Pam. How are you? Hi, Tony. We're just going through the transfers that are coming out today. So launch happens today. This is gorgeous. I love these flowers. I am looking forward to doing this um, for, for a wall piece. I am. Um, I'm not so sure. This is not my style, but somebody will love it. So I'll do that one at some point. And then th these are cards. You could actually make your own deck of cards. So they have all the, you know, all the different numbers and um, ace, king, queen, jack. So you could actually make your own deck of cards if you wanted to. And then we're going to do an apron with this for sure. So we have the little apron already. I have a bunch of those. So I picked up those aprons a while back. I'll have to find them all. There might be some on the shelf. And then I love this. Um, be brave and stay happy. Be kind and stay curious. I am kind. You are kind. I love I love this one. I, I think that's a great one. This one has to go on a t-shirt too. I have a lot. I'm going to be having a lot of t-shirts and a lot of signs. Um, I will sell a lot of these because I do shows in in churches and even just a small one faith over fear um saved by grace i love that prayer warrior, prayer warrior i i just love this one salt and light and then we did this already so we did we did the little lamby pie and the goose that one's really fun and then <clears throat> excuse me these um love joy peace patience kindness um goodness faithfulness uh gentleness and self-control galatians 5 22 through 23 so i love those flowers so they have the they have the words on them that will make a really nice sign you can put it on a t-shirt too all right raising wildflowers snack dealer mom and niece coffee that's okay i'm going to definitely do that mom and niece coffee <laughs> And I love I love these things. So these can go on some of the flip signs, and then you just swap this part out. Okay, so you know the flip sign that they have. All you, all you would do is just um, swap out the center part, grow your own way. All the flowers of all tomorrows are in the seeds of today. Oi oi oi! Love that. Um, magnolia mornings, sweet uh, sweet tea afternoons, and then yay for today. These are fun. Okay, so those will go on the flip sign, and then this is a great piece to go on the wall. Peace be still. So um, two right there. You need a boozy. Yeah, me too, Stephanie. Me too. And they gave it to me to demo. <laughs> and I taped that part off. I just, I just, I had bougie on there. I, I taped off the offensive part because that's just not me. And, that, and you know what? We all have our choice on what we can do and what we can say and what we can represent. And when I don't believe in something strongly... I'm not going to represent it. If if it was something like, oh, I don't like, I don't like pigs, so I'm not going to show this transfer that has pigs on it. That's not going to be, that's not a stand that I take. Okay. I take a stand against things that to me morally are, are wrong. So I <laughs> definitely will not do that. Welcome to our porch um, where wasting time is considered time well spent. I like that. And I do have the, the cutout for that. And then this is really cute for a sewing and craft room. I'll to put these on the bins. And then here's another one that goes with that very first flower one. And then this is kind of cool if you like this style. We will try it, but not, not soon. <laughs> it's not on my list to do anytime soon. Okay, welcome. Happy spring. Um, well, oh, welcome to our home. Happy spring. So we'll be doing this one. And then I love, I love this um, little farmhouse. So, what do we want to say? Not to mask, um, but look at, I mean, it's so cute. I love, I love it with the pigs and the cows. I am a pig cow chicken person. Definitely country. <laughs> the country style. <laughs> I know, the porch one is absolutely true. And then this is fun. So this is flowers, and you just do each one and layer until you have your complete flower. All right, so 
we're ready to craft. I might have missed some, so there might be some that are in another place that I removed that I have ready for a project. There might be some that we've already done, but um, this is what we're gonna do, guys. We're going to, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do all the little pieces. I've already base coated these in white, but the background part I need to do in another color. And I need to pull out, there's, there's, uh, there's moss. Moss will do. So I need some green. <laughs> I forgot the green at the bottom. Okay, so be, this this is actually the Chocotour digital file. And I just kind of, I kind of just manipulated a few things because I like my stuff to be a certain way. Okay, so I changed it up just a touch. Um, but this cow is different than the Chocotour cutout cow that they sell because this one has grass with it. Therefore, we can sell this one. Okay, does that make sense to you? <laughs> So my colors are cherry, black velvet, I have saffron, and I have moss. Okay, so we're going to just move this. I want a dry brush on, on this because the white background is too white. We need a little bit of dry brushing, and then we're going to flip this over, and we'll adhere all those little pieces to there, and we'll chalk all those first, and then we will do the outline onto here, okay? So let's scooch this to the side and let's do some dry brushing. Hi, Sandy. How are you? We're going to use gray. It, it seemed to work really well the other day. Um, the digital file is for the whole transfer. It's for the whole transfer. It has all the words in it. And I just kind of, I just changed things up just a little bit, Cheryl, because I, I just like it to be a little different than that. So um, there's just certain things on there that I changed to be how I do my files, okay? So I took their file and I just modified it slightly to how I like mine to be um, because theirs, theirs wasn't exact um, and I just like things to be more more exact. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, let me put myself up in the corner, but yes, they have the digital file so you can purchase that file. Um, and then if you wanna make modifications, you can. I, I just like to because that is just me. Let me put myself in the corner. There I am. Hi guys, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Okay, so I'm gonna take a brush. This is um this is the little scruffy brushes. You get these at Home Depot or Lowe's over in the paint area. They're really inexpensive, and I'm just gonna take some gray paint and we're gonna do what we did the other day, and we are just going to dry brush some on there. Um this surface is a piece of wood. So this is just a piece of wood cut and painted. So this is this is one that I did. And we're just gonna go around the edges first. Let's get our edges. And, and then we're gonna do the center a little bit. And then we're gonna do all of our pieces on there. And I just like the edges to have a lot more on them. Okay, all right. So now I'm just gonna kind of draw that down. And, you want to go in one direction, really. You don't want to have it go in a bunch. So I'm just kind of putting a little bit on there, guys. And then I'm going to put a little more on my brush to just get a couple of areas that have more. Um, but this is what I like. And if you want to ink your edges, you can do that as well. That would look really good. So I'm just going to get a little bit more. Okay. All right, that looks good. And then we can move this and let it dry. I actually probably should just dry it um, so that I'm not sticking my fingers in it, right? <laughs> I should just dry it. Let me move let me move this out of the way first of all, because you know how I am. I am just so darn messy. I just I, I think that just goes with the creative gene. The messy gene is, is part of the creative gene too, right? <laughs> I don't think you just get one. You have you have to get you have to get the other with it, right? <laughs> I, I think that's the way it works. I'll ask God that when I get back up there. I'll go, hey, was that just part of the whole deal? Is that you have to you have to have the messy gene if you're gonna have the creative gene? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, big okay, let me see. Um, Tony, I, that is so awesome. I am so proud of you. You are doing so good. And I'm so happy you made that decision so, so many years ago. 
I know I know many people that have gone through that and it's not an easy one to go through. So I'm so proud of you. So happy to know you, my friend. Okay, I'm just gonna dry this and get this out of the way. And then we're gonna do all the other little pieces first. Okay, so, so basically the only thing on here is gonna be the outline. So I'm gonna move that. And then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put hangers on the back of this. I'm not gonna put, I'm not, I don't have a hole, I don't have holes in there. I'm just gonna put hangers, okay? So here we go, we're gonna take our stencil, we're gonna flip it over, we're gonna put all of our pieces on there. So um, you can't get the hang of dry brushing. You know, I think it's just, you just have to, you just have to keep doing it. <laughs> you know, and, and if you had too much on there, so guys, if you got too much dry brushing on there, take a Clorox wipe and you can take some of it off. Oops. Oh, you guys, hang on. <laughs> Darlene's getting a little crazy. I'll get the lid later. I don't have puppies running around in here, so. <laughs> I won't let them just run around out there without me being out there. Let me just get some of this off. So like I said, if you got too much on your board, then you can absolutely just um, take a take a Clark's wipe and wipe some of it off. You can start over. <laughs> it's it's basically it's like a, a quick hand motion back and forth, like you're like you're whisking something back and forth. Um, that's that's what I do, anyways. So it's just all in practice. The more you do it, the the easier it'll get for you. Yep, practice on a board. Practice on cardboard. Okay, there's that. Okay, let's take our stencil. And I'm not going to fuzz it because um, this is just this is just painted wood. I don't think I need to fuzz it at all. It's not going to peel that up off the wood. If it was painted on the plastic, it would peel it up. Okay, so let's take this and let's flip this over. And we're going to adhere all of our stuff to the back of this. <laughs> okay, if you happen to get this stuck to each other, just pull gently. It, it can happen. You know, it's, a, it's kind of a big trans transfer. Okay, so I'm just gonna flip this over and then I'm gonna lay my pieces down on top one by one and we're gonna get it all figured out. Okay, so it might be kind of hard to figure out what goes where. Okay, that goes there. And then we'll adjust it if we need to. Okay, so, so this is gonna be the easiest way to get these on here. And then we'll adjust as necessary. Once we flip it over, we can adjust things one by one. Okay, we'll be able to tell once we flip it over if we got it on correctly or if we were off just a little bit. Okay, so so for me, this is the easiest way. If you want to do it the other way, you can absolutely do it one piece by one piece, one piece at a time. <laughs> All right, so colors. I want there to be a lot of red on here. So, um... Farm Fresh Milk is all going to be in red, okay? Everything else is going to be in black except for the stars and the grass, okay? And I even think Five Cents should be in red. I just feel like, I just love that. I love the cherry red. I think it's fabulous. Okay, here's my little stars. So one by one, I'm just getting everything on here, and then I'll flip it over and say, okay, I need to adjust this or I need to adjust that. Okay, my little stars are just tiny. And then what we'll do is we will do our outline on our on our board. We might even go over some of these things on the board so we have our placement. And then we'll just glue everything on. Okay, so figuring it out sometimes when it's backwards can be trying. But what I did, I had it all figured out in the very beginning. So it should be pretty easy to just put them all back on here. Okay, let me scooch it up. The size of the backer board should be, that one's a little bit bigger. It should be 12 by 18. Um, this one um, was a little bit bigger because I just grabbed it off the shelf last night and I didn't want to recut it. But when you get one, if you, if you purchase the kit from me, yours is going to be the correct size. It's going to be the, the exact size. It's going to be the 12 by 18 because the, the stencils, these are size C stencils. Um, they are 12 by 18 and the one that you get the backer board will be that size so I just didn't want to fire up my laser last night at one o'clock in the morning <laughs> the puppies were asleep already and I figured you know what I'm not going to wake everybody 
so I actually had turned it off a little bit early last night. Okay, here's our Moo Cow. And like I said, if we have to adjust anything, we will. So I'll flip this over and we'll see how, how well did how well did Darlene do? Did I get everything um, the way it should be? Okay, so all of that like that. So I'm just gonna flip this entire thing over. They should stay on there because it's pretty sticky. Um, if anything falls off, we'll just grab it and we'll put it back on. So I should just be able to go like this. And then we'll look at everything and go, that needs adjusted, that needs adjusted. Everything's actually looking really good. Okay, and I don't need to, I don't need to have this centered on here. I'm just putting it on here so that it doesn't stick to the table. All right, everything actually looks really good. So then I'm just going to get my air bubbles out. That one star is a little bit off. Let me see if I can fix that one star without having to move everything. So let me just, let me just try to lift this whole thing up. There's one star that is just a little bit off and I think I can just kind of scooch it. Whoops, it's not that star. <laughs> that wasn't the right one, Darlene. But I can get it back into place. Let's see. That one is going to go right there. A little bit lower. Okay, there's that one. I need the one next to it. <laughs> it's just barely off, guys, just barely. But I just want it a little bit better. Uh oh, <laughs> see, it's it's kind of hard sometimes. It'll be fine though. So just just keep trying, just keep trying until you get it um, into place where you want it to be. It's almost there. <laughs> a little bit lower, a little bit over. That's good, right there. That's good. Okay, guys, everything else looks really good. So, like I said, okay, farm fresh milk in red. Five cents in red. These black, 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 and then yellow, and then right down here is green. Okay, so what we'll do, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start to chalk. We'll chalk this, and then we'll peel it off, peel those, and set them to the side. Okay, and then we will go here. And do that and peel that off and then we'll do the cow peel that off and do the bottom okay so um let me see um yes you can go to hobby lobby and you can get that size um yeah just take your tape measure like i said um they don't care just take your tape measure and measure it you know what the f is just a little bit off let's just fix that okay so i'm looking at this going is anything else off just a little bit it's okay but um let me just kind of scooch it over let's see if we can just uh, scooch it over just a little bit and see if we can get it just a little bit better. And let me just take a look at, let me just take a look again and see if I want to move anything else. <sighs> if anything is just barely, just barely off. Yeah. Um, hang on. I'm not trying to be a perfectionist, but I just want to move it just a touch, just a, just a scotch. Um, a little bit down, Darlene. Hopefully you're not looking at my hair. <laughs> I think I go go again soon to get my hair done again. Okay, and then the S is just a tiny bit off. So if you want to kind of tweak it in, you you definitely can do that. Um, this seems easier to do the bigger pieces to get them tweaked in. Okay, all right, there we go. We're good to go. Okay, so um, we're using cherry for the red. Okay, so farm fresh. We're gonna do that. All right, and I'm gonna try not to get any on this um, right here because that the outside part is going to be black unless I should do that black maybe I should oh you know what let's do farm black because I'll tell you why because down at the bottom I'm going to do down at the bottom I'm going to do that black so let's do let's do that black and it's not going to matter if I get any of it onto the um the little outside uh border onto the border <laughs> it's not going to matter um so let's do this and then I'll do that farm part really quick that makes better sense to me. Yeah, the littlest out, all the little words will do black. Okay, I love cherry. I love that they added that to our um, regular chalk paste colors. So we are going to now have cherry all the time. It's a great color. It really is. I, I, love, the, I love the dark. Actually, I needed that. I put that back in the jar. 
<laughs> I love the I love the dark color. It's just it's a great farmhouse color. Perfect for barns. I think that they have a barn that's coming up in the fall that they're working on. They they were asking us all sorts of questions. I probably can't even talk about that. But um, we got to see we got to see some really cool stuff that's coming up. Um, and you know what? I'm not going to say there's a barn coming up. I'm going to say we we wanted there to be a barn. We had that in our idea board. So there is an idea board that we were able to um, say, oh, we'd like this and we'd like this and we'd like this. You know, I'm going to have to peel this. That farm piece is going to stay right there. And we're going to peel these up because it is they're starting to dry. So you don't want this to dry on here. So I'm going to have to peel these off and then we'll go back and we will do that. You know what? The corner of that did not... Did not get done. Don't rip it off like a band-aid. If you need to lay it back down, I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna have to fill that in. There's something going on in that corner. That's okay though. I'm gonna take my stylus. Maybe it's supposed to be that way. Sometimes things are just supposed to be rustic. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I think I think that area is rustic. Okay, gonna peel off all my letters and get those out of the way. And then we'll go back and we'll do that top part. Um, it's starting to dry. You do not want this to dry on the stencil. You want it to peel off nicely like this. Look at all that. Looks good, looks good. And then it's sticking to itself. Okay, and, and then you can go ahead and you can just let those dry. There's just a little tiny area that I'm gonna fix. I'm gonna take my stylus and I'm going to fix this corner. I feel like that should be filled in. Whether or not it's supposed to be, um, I think the stencil is actually a little rustic right there. Okay, so there's fresh. <laughs> so I'm just going to move that. Will you do little animal, the little animals that were released from previous launch? Yes, the, the one that is the, yes, the pet one. I, I keep trying to figure out what I want to do. <laughs> Sometimes things don't just come to me immediately. So, so I'm still trying to figure that one out. Cheryl, if you have an idea, send me your, send me your idea sometimes I sometimes I just get stuck on things okay you know what I'm going to take a little tiny um, detail tool and I'm going to do the farm part so I just make sure that I only get the farm and I don't get the little the little lines yeah I still have a bunch that I haven't done from the previous launch so um, sometimes I just get stuck on things and then sometimes we get new stuff and I'm like, oh, this is so exciting. I got to do this right, right away. Okay. So, so it happens to me all the time. I'm like, squirrel, squirrel. Okay. So I'm doing the top part, the farm, and then I'm going to peel that off right now. So getting that out of the way. And I'm just using this little detail tool. It works great for stuff like that. Okay. Peeling that. And I'm just going to continue to set my pieces up at the top. So, I know, the cut, cut, oh, little cutouts would be cute. Okay, all right, that's a great idea. I can do that. Okay, we're gonna do, let's do this, this, and this, and just get those done. So, let's do our, let's do milk, and get that done, and then we'll do established 1980s, and we'll take a look at it. It just seems to be drying faster, I think, because we've had the heater on, because it was so cold outside. And honestly, I heard raindrops on the roof almost all night long. Um, it's, <laughs> plus, we have a, a little tin um, canopy type thing in the backyard. And so when I was working in the, in the laser room last night, all night long, really loud on that. I'm looking outside right now and it looks pretty gloomy outside. It's supposed to rain for several days. They, they've already considered it a... Um, like a disaster area, <laughs> you know, a na not not national disaster, but I don't know what they call it. Um, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. Anyways, so um, they I got the little little alert on my phone and all of that stuff. All right, I think I I think I can do the yellow. So let me just grab. I think I can do these. I don't even need to have a squeegee. I can just do it with the stir stick. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to remove those things. So just peel it up and carefully remove all of that stuff. So milk is all one piece. That was pretty easy to remove. So I just don't want to stick my fingers in it. That's all. I'm trying to I'm trying to hold on to an area that's not chalked. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to put that up there. I'm going to grab all these little pieces off of here. And then the stars are going to be a little tricky, but we'll figure it out. So you don't want to lay this down onto your cow and have a red cow, 
okay? So um, that's, it's, like I said, it's a little tricky. Maybe if you have a friend or you or your husband or your daughter or whoever, um, come help you for a momento while you get some of these little things off, that might be great. Okay, all right, there's the little stars, okay? And then we're gonna lay it down, we're gonna do our cow nags. Actually, I think we should do the little five cents thing next. So let's do the little five cents thing. We're gonna do that in red. And then I can just peel the corner up, okay? So I could do that and I could do the bottom things too. All right, so let's do this and then I'll do the bottom part and then we'll only have the cow left. So you can peel from the top down and then from the bottom up. All right, so there's our five cents per quart. Wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to go back to that five cents per quart? Oh my goodness, when was that? In the 1900s? <laughs> so yes, thank you, thank you so much. Um, State of emergency, thank you so much. That is exactly, um, when does the release, thank you for putting that, the release starts this morning, eight o'clock. So we're looking at like um, in a half an hour, 35 minutes, um, the release will start. Okay, I'm gonna do this part down here. And then we'll do our cow. So there's some grass at the bottom. So I'll do the grass first and then we'll do the cow. And then we'll peel this off and we'll put this onto our board and we will do the border, okay? If you don't wanna do a border, you don't have to. You can just put these pieces on there. Absolutely, okay, there's that. Let's peel up and we'll take off, can you see? I'll peel up and take off the little pieces. And then we do have to dry everything. Okay, I'll run up my stars. Oh, my stars. <laughs> oh, my stars. My star hopped, hopped over. Uh, they may be pretty dry by the time that we get the border done. It might be pretty dry. So um, we might not have to because it's pretty warm in here. All right. Support local farms. Absolutely. I grew up in Utah and Idaho, and there were farms around me in Utah. I worked on a tomato farm. That was one of my first jobs. <laughs> 50 cents an hour. Worked on a tomato farm. Yep. Interesting, huh? <laughs> Picking tomatoes for Brock's Farms. Okay. And the, far the farm at land is still there. When, um, when Sue and I drove past my old house, that farmland is still there. Okay, I'm going to be really careful around the feet. I'm going to get a little squeegee here. And do right around the feet. And the rest is going to be black. All right. So, yeah, the farmland, they didn't, they took away some of it. There's housing in some of it, but the, some of the farmland is still there. We used to walk through the farms to our elementary school. And we'd have to climb underneath this, this um, wire fence. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's do our moo cow. We're going to put some black on him. This is going to be fabulous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ex oh, 10 a.m. in. Okay, perfect. Yeah, right here is 727 a.m. Right, right at the moment um, in California. So I am Pacific time. Lunch will be coming soon, but um, it's not there yet. And you know what? You just go to the section that, sh that says new. Okay, so um, the section that says new is going to have all the new stuff and just refresh refresh until it actually posts sometimes they'll have it on there early and sometimes sometimes it will take longer because you know they they load everything they get everything there and then sometimes there's a hiccup and they have to go back and reload so we've had it before some of you guys that have been with me a long time we've had it before where where they weren't able to do it and it took all day and some people got to place their orders and some people missed out. <laughs> that was really sad. So they've improved it. They've improved it. And um, the last couple of times, everything has been there early. Okay, go ahead and scrape off the excess. If you can butter toast, you can do this. I promise. And you just have to practice. Okay, so I can't wait to see the cow. Who wants to see the cow? I'm so excited. I'm going to peel from the bottom up. I'm going to peel from the bottom up because it's going to be easier for me. All right, I'm gonna grab this, and it's not gonna matter if that flops over onto itself now because I don't have any more to do except for the border, okay? 
So if it if it did flop over, I can I can straighten it out. Look at that! Look at that cow! Holy cow! Look at that cow! It is fabulous! Look at the detail! Look at that! That is great. Okay, I do want to dry some of these pieces. The tiny pieces are actually dry on their own. I want to make sure that that these other big pieces are dry. The red, the red didn't look like it was all the way dry. Okay, I'm going to set this to the side for un momento, and then we're going to bring back our board, and we're going to do our border on it, and then we'll glue everything on. All right. I love the cow. The cow is fabulous. Make sure it's dry. Make sure these guys are dry. Oh, my goodness. And like I said, we can go over everything on the board. Okay, here's all my little pieces. I want to make sure nothing jumps. See, my stars are jumping. <sighs> okay, all right, that's enough, Dirty. Oh my goodness, I love it. Holy cow, holy cow. <laughs> all right, where's my board, guys? Oh, there's my board. Okay, so let's move this to the side until we get our our um, sign up here and all of that. These are all dry already. It doesn't take long. They actually will dry in about five minutes on their own. It's a little bit damp, but it's okay. It will continue to dry as we do the other part. He's just so cute. I love him. Or her. Her. Because It's a her because she gives milk. <laughs> Here's our board that we prepped before. So I did it in white and then I just did some dry brushing. And then we're going to take our transfer here and we're just going to try to center this the best that we can and I may go over some of this stuff on here so that I can get the the um spacing okay so just go ahead and peel that off I am just going to peel it and hold it up in the air and then what I like to do is um if it sticks to each other just gently peel no no big problem um, I like to kind of get some air under it and try to get it centered. Okay, so so let's see if we can do that without getting, there's a little bit of chalk paste. Oh, you know what? That's pretty close. That is pretty darn close, but not quite. Not quite. Okay, so I'm just going to just gonna put a little bit of air under it and drag it down into place right there. And it's okay if you were to get it so it's not completely centered. I think it's close enough. I Let me see. Let me do it one more time. Let me do it one more time and see. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm trying to get it centered. Stop. Right there is good for me. Okay. So then you're going to just take a squeegee and get the air bubbles out. All right. So, so I'm just going to get my air bubbles out because I don't want there to be air bubbles in there. Okay. So... And I also kind of want there to be some markings so I know where things go. So I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to go over this. Okay. I'm going to get, I'm going to get that in place. I want to get this top part in place so that I know where to start this. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Hopefully. Hopefully. So you know where to start each letter. Okay. So you don't have to do the whole thing. I'm just going to do that so I know where each letter will start. Okay. And this part, let's just do the top of that. These are easy, easy peasy. The cow's easy. This part down here is easy. Okay. So, so let me just see how that is. So I'll know exactly where that goes. Okay. I can lay that back down and then let me just peel this up and then we'll just get our air bubbles out again. Okay. So we know where that goes. Perfect. Everything else is very easy. Get our air bubbles out one more time. And we just have to do the border. And we can go over the black part. Um, it's not going to hurt it to do that. So let's just put some chalk piece. I think we can go around the whole thing at one time. I think we can do this and not have to peel. I'm pretty sure that I can do that. <laughs> we'll see. Take your squeegee and just start. Just start. Okay. So I'm just going to go around the whole thing. I'm going to avoid that red, <laughs> avoiding the red. Okay, I'm not worried I can do that. I can do those letters because that will just help me with the placement. And then I'm going to go up here. Let's make sure we got all of that. And then I'm going to go down here. I don't want to go off the edge. 
Okay, I could see making a dozen of these for craft shows. Um, these will sell really well in my area. If you aren't in farming area, they might not sell as well, but I think this is fabulous. There's going to be somebody. There's going to be somebody that loves it. Okay, going to go over it one more time, and then we're going to peel. It's starting to dry, and we'll have our little outline. Okay, going to move that, and then just peel it off, and we're going to put this on our backer sheet. So, so see, you'll have your placement for that. So you don't even have to have the pieces. You could just chuck this whole thing. Okay. All right. So I just grab my backer sheet and I just plop it on there just like that. I'll take that to my kitchen sink. Make sure you put it back on the white side. The other side is yellow. Okay. The older stencils do not have that. So you have to mark it on the back. Just put an X so you know which side. Um, will this fit on the milk can? Maybe. Um, the the cow, it might, it might fit on the milk can. It's kind of tall. Um, uh, which milk can, like a, like a metal milk can. If I think if you had a great big tall one, it probably would, it probably would fit on it. Okay, let's dry this and then we're going to start gluing everything together. It's not going to fit on the one that I do, um, the wooden one. It's not going to fit on that. And you'd have to do it a lot bigger because that's really tall. So... Okay, looks good, guys. All right, now we're gonna now we're gonna fit every piece in there. We're gonna get everything where it goes. Okay, so we can we can see that this goes right in here, and and you can see that the milk one goes right there, and then you can see every letter here, fresh, and then we'll glue. Okay, if you want to ink your edges on all of these, you can. Do you think Do you think I should ink the edges? I'm kind of thinking I should ink the edges. I'm thinking I should ink the edges on this sign too. What do you guys think? I can do that even with everything on there. I'll just kind of turn it. I'm kind of feeling like I need to ink the edges on all of these because they're kind of white. But let me get them in the, in the place where they go first so that we know where everything goes. And then I'm pretty sure that I need to ink it because it's so white. It is so, so white. Okay, probably not the stars, though. I'd be really careful. Um, the one you did a while ago. Yeah, it wouldn't go on the wooden one, for sure. Okay, look at that. That is fabulous. I'm going to go out just a little bit so you can see everything. Okay, I'm just going to I'm gonna go along the edges of this um, with my ink pad. And then along here. And then I'll go around each of the letters and the cow. And... Okay, so we know where everything goes, so we're good with that. Okay, go on the top, and then each of these I'm going to go around because it's just too white for me. It needs to have ink on it. <laughs> yeah, but it looks good, huh? Everything, everything is looking fabulous. I'm really happy with it. If you if you need to get out a Q-tip to get around stuff, you can. Don't be afraid to make it grungy. You know, honestly. Um, my people, the, the grungier, the better. <laughs> they love that. They love it to look antique -y. They love it to look like you stomped on it. You threw it in the road. <laughs> Honestly. And you could speckle this. So so I kind of feel like, I feel like it would look good with black speckles. What do you guys think? I, I really could do that. I think, I, I don't think white. I think just black. I just think speckling it black would probably just be like the finishing thing on it. Um, I love the red. I, I'm really a farmhouse girl with red. I love putting red and, and black on things. Red and black are great. I'm doing it in the center of each of those. Okay, yeah, the, look, at how, look at the difference. Um, yeah, I really love it. So, whoo, sorry. <laughs> It's a jumping H. <laughs> All right. So I think it's going to be time. As soon as I'm done here, it's probably going to be time to go and order. Make sure you're ordering what you need. I will have some inventory. I will have this. So um, if you can't order anything, that's okay, guys. Don't feel stressed. I don't ever want you to spend money that you don't have. Um, don't do it just because, you know, I mean, really don't go into debt over stuff that you um, that you really don't need to have. Honestly. 
I mean, as a business, you go into debt for inventory, but um, sometimes, sometimes you don't. Like, I, I'm choosing to get my finances in better order because I know that we're retiring and it's actually less than five years now. I think it's four and a half years when my husband can apply. So, so we have to get our ducks in a row. You know, it's time, it's time in my life to not just be spending $20,000 every time that um, the launch comes, right? That's a lot of money. And then having to sell and, and get everything back out um, to customers. So, you know, you guys go order what you need. And then just know in, in March, there's going to be that new program for customers that you can sign up for, which is fabulous. So the perks, the perks program is going to be fabulous for you guys. If you purchase a lot, you're going to want to do that. The perks, um, the perks program is going to be a monthly fee of $20, and then they're going to give you $20 back to buy merchandise. So you pay $20, and then you get $20, but you get $30 percent off of everything so you're going to get a discount on every single thing that you purchase which is great you know I, I love that I love that they're going to give you a discount what that will do for me is that will take a, away a lot of my my um, sales that I do for you guys um, they will already have sales for you guys so I won't have to do all those sales because they will already be doing that on a daily basis so that's going to take away some of my work which is great I love that I don't have to, I don't have to do as much shipping. Let's let them do the shipping. Okay, that looks good. I think I should speckle this. I honestly do. Once we're done, we're going to speckle. All right. Yeah, this looks great. Okay, let me grab my glue and we're going to start gluing. And then we'll, I, yeah, I really think that, I think that speckling will just be the last touch that we need on it. Okay, just getting everything in place. And I love to use the Allen's Tacky Glue because... <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. I I'm like it's it's Monday part two. <laughs> At least I didn't drop it right onto something. It is Monday for part two, guys, for sure. <laughs> I love I love the Ellie's tacky glue because you can um, move stuff if you need to. You still have time. It doesn't it doesn't adhere right away. So if you put it down and you go, oh, that's not in the right place, you can still move it. You're not like, oh, dang, it's stuck. I need to get a screwdriver and try to pry it loose. Um, yeah, I've done that before. <laughs> when, when later on it's like, oh, it's all it's all dried and it's all it's not in the right place. Oops. <laughs> I have I've gotten the flat screwdriver or a um, utility knife to try to um, fix things. Yeah, definitely. All right, so like I said, this will be available, this whole kit or the pieces. So I'll, I'll put the pieces in the VIP group. Uh, I'm sorry, the whole kit in the VIP group. And then I will post the pieces for sale will be, they will be for sale in the Shopify, on the Shopify website. They're not there yet. Don't look for them yet because they're not there. I have to do my, my order first and then I'll do that. So I the so if some of you are thinking, oh, you can't sell this because you can't sell the cow because Chocotor does, this cow is different. This cow has grass at the feet. It is not the same cow that they sell. Therefore, we can sell the cow. Okay. So so you, you just have to think of things like that. It's different. You know, when we do the angel and we make it into a full angel with wings, um, we can sell that because it's not just the angel wings. All right. So um, we think of how can we do this and still get you guys the things that you need, right? And not be, not be in trouble. <laughs> There's my little stars. Oh, my stars. Oh, my stars. Okay, let's glue this one first. And then knock out. And then we're going to speckle. We are, we are. Because I just think it needs something else. Because there's still, there's still a ton of white on there. There's still a ton of white. Um... You order a lot. Yes, yes. So I so it really is a great program. Um, and if you are a club member, then you can switch to getting your club um through the perks program is a little bit cheaper. So you get the 30% discount on that. Um so yeah, it it really is a good deal. And I will be doing some specials for people that want to that want to sign up for it. I haven't announced anything yet because we're making sure that we're allowed to do that. Let's see, that goes right there, guys right there. So I, I was trying to make sure I am doing the right thing and not getting in trouble. <laughs> but you, what you'll do is you'll sign up with one person. So, so that way you are always, always, always ordering through me. And then 
you know, I'm always there to help you. So basically it's like you have a wrap in a way, instead of being able to order from me and three other designers, you would just be, you'd be logging in and it would all go through me. And I would be able to help you with everything rather than you trying to figure out, well, I saw this on Sally's, um, on Sally's page, or I saw this on Susie's page and you're ordering from all the different people. Um, you would just be ordering from one person. Okay. There you go. Look at that. Okay. Let's, let's speckle this. So here's what I need to do. I need to just move some of this stuff out of the way so that, um, I can easily speckle this. I'm going to need to get out my toothbrush, <laughs> not my personal one, a toothbrush. Okay. And then I need, I need some, some black paint and some water. Okay. So black paint and just a little bit of water and I need to protect my surface. So I need to put down some a paper towel. Okay, so I need to put paper towels under here. I need to protect that. <laughs> I need to put a bunch. Okay, so that. And I need to have I need to have a couple for my fingers. All right, let me just lift this up. And then I need one more set. And I and then I just use these paper towels. So I'm protecting my surface underneath because I don't want speckles all over it. And then I'll use those paper towels at a later date. All right, so let me just, let me just go like this, like that. Okay, I think that's probably good. And let me get some water. And then I'm gonna need one for my fingers. Let me see, um, a launch is live right now, yay! That's awesome. Um, how would you hang this? I would glue the hangers on the back. So I would glue hangers on the back of it. Yay! You know, launch usually come, gets um, there early. We're almost done. And then you can go order. Okay, you can order now if you want. You can be doing you can be doing more than one thing. Okay, so I'm gonna dip my toothbrush in the water, on dip on the paper towel, dip it in the paint, dip it on the paper towel, dip it in the water, dip it on the paper towel. All right, and then you're just gonna pull your finger backwards. And go downwards onto your project. Oh yeah, this is exactly what it needed. <laughs> it just needed something else to break up some of that background white. Okay, and then I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a little more water and make it just a little bit bigger drops. There we go. Looking good, guys. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so so perfect. And then I'm going to just put hangers on the back to hang it. I will just glue, I will glue a hanger to the back with E6000. That's what I'll do. Okay. Or I will use the command strips because those work also. Okay. Let me dry. And then, so make sure you're grabbing things that you really, really want before they're gone. Those cute little frames are really cute. The ones that have the the little honeycomb cutout type thing in it. Remember the ones, the white ones? Those are fun. So there's lots of new stuff. Um, I, okay, so let me look and see. Um, Wendy's asking if I ship to Canada. It's really expensive for me to ship to Canada, but I can figure it out. So um, it's, you know, Canada shipping is ridiculous because they just charge us so much. But yes, I can, I can ship to Canada. But it's not on my website. And the reason is because it's because it's too expensive and most people go, oh, I don't want to pay that. But that's that's what the, that's what we're charged. OK, so let me look. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys, um, established and oh, they should be in line with each other. Are they not in line? OK, thank you. Thank you. So maybe I should get a sheet of something. Thank you. Um, okay, if I, I, sh I probably should have a ruler. You're absolutely right. Okay, perfect. Okay, that looks better. <laughs> Hope that thought about launch. Not everything is published, um, even if it's not. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, it might take a little bit. Might take a little bit. Okay, so if you, if you do want something, um, let me know. If, if you're trying to order it, you can't order it and have it shipped to can to Canada. We we had to disable the Canadian shipping because it was wrong, and we're always it was always costing us extra because and my thing is like a little crooked. 
<laughs> That's so funny. My camera's crooked up there. <laughs> All right. I love this one. I hope you love it. It is fabulous. It was so much fun to do with you guys. <laughs> I'm going to go. I will, I will wash my transfer. I, I can use that over and over. Um, that's the great thing about it is that our transfers are reusable. You can use them over and over. Just wash them. Take care of them. Make sure that you're cleaning them. Make sure the screen is completely cleaned. Anyways, yay! It turned out. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. And thank you for all your help and suggestions. Um, I really appreciate that. Have a wonderful day. And go, go shop and go grab some great stuff. Because there are just so many fun transfers out there and surfaces. Let me see if there's any questions. All right. Okay, guys. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow.